Hi guys, MXP signing here again. Welcome back on my YouTube channel. Today I will show you how I made this clip for uh, an e-bike company. Once again, if you do like my work, please subscribe here on my YouTube channel, give me a thumb up, turn on the notification, and tell me what you think about my work here in the comments or on my Instagram account. So here is a spot where I made uh, this loop. Uh, basically, uh, you, you can do it um, in every location that you want. Uh, the idea is to have a full circle and to be sure that your subject uh, is moving all around and um, is making a full circle, uh, which will make uh, the masking and the editing later easier. So I'm moving my drone just to be sure that I have the full um, path uh, into the frame. Uh, here is the Mini 3 Pro. I don't need to switch to a vertical mode since uh, we're gonna we can rotate uh, later uh, in Final Cut the the video. Uh, then I'm going to take my bike and starting from a point and be sure to to use the same pipes over and over uh, to, to be sure that I have the, a complete a full circle and going on the same uh, starting and ending point. For the sake of the tutorial, uh, what I did is just looped the opposite way to um, giving you two options or many options uh, will bring things easier later uh, when editing or on your favorite video editor and that will also help um, not having to reshoot it again. Now it's time to go back to the office and start editing. So, so since I want to make a reel for Instagram, uh, first thing to do is to create the clip and the project. Uh, be sure to be in vertical mode and then I'm in 4K here, press OK. Then I'm gonna drag here my clip, I'm uh, gonna rotate it just to be sure that I'm at the right position like this. Uh, next I'm gonna use uh, the fill here to be sure that I'm in matching all the, the 4K in vertical mode and then use uh, the scale just to to match here the, the part of the screen I want. Maybe drag a little bit to center it. That's gonna be fine. Um, so, next, the third thing to do is to get the right part of our clip, as you saw in the recording of the remote controller. Uh, first, uh, I make a loop, so I want my, my loop to start here where I'm getting out the tree, and then loop once again when I'm under the tree, and I want to uh, add regularly uh, a new cycle uh, a new version of me on the on the bike just to to pop it uh, i will show you different ideas is what you can make with a kind of uh, of uh, loop um, 
the tree here is making things easier since uh, we're gonna, not going to have to to be sure that uh, our clip is matching perfectly. But uh, all the tricks and technique I'm giving you here uh, will be okay and will match too. Uh, when if you don't have any part to hide your your subject here. So I've trimmed the, the beginning. Let's go where it's going to be hidden by a tree. So that's it. Um, I have the clip I want uh, being here from the first part till the end. Maybe I'm gonna add uh, just a couple frames here. Uh, we're gonna trim it later. Then what you can do is just adjust here the color correction. So I'm gonna higher the lights. Be sure that my shadows are done deep and gonna add more contrast with the mid-tones. Uh, I like my colors to pop so I'm gonna increase saturation and basically um, it will depend on the, the clip you have and the color you want but uh, you have the first part of the clip that we need. Then uh, I'm gonna make a, a compound clip uh, to be sure that uh, I have the, the part I want um, and basically uh, the whole part of this tutorial is to make um, to use uh, a draw mask to extract here our subject and then uh, loop it over and over by duplicating clips so first thing I need to do is just press option to duplicate the clip and then what I will do is use here a mask. Uh, I'm gonna use a draw mask here uh, to be sure that uh, my here my clip uh, that the thing I want to draw uh, will be perfectly uh, fitting. Uh, the subjects and since my pattern is a bit complex uh, I want to keep here uh, the shadow and uh, all the bike uh, in the wall frame I'm gonna maybe make it that way uh, you, if you select all and press right click on one of, it, one of the dots you can just uh, uh, adjust the, the mask that to be sure that everything is fine and uh, that um, the the drawing is softened. Um, then, as you can see, I make I've made a mask around my subject. If I remove the down layer, uh, you see that uh, nothing is being displayed, but the mask is still not moving. So here uh, you have two options. The first one uh, is to here put uh, keyframes on uh, the control points, the position, uh, rotation, scale. Uh, since our top-down shot um, is uh, perfectly aligned with the the, the, the ground, uh, you don't have to to adjust the scale since uh, we are being on the same plan. So basically what you can do is just here align the position, rotation and control points to, uh, and add keyframes to it and then use um, tracking to be sure that your subject and, it, and the mask around the subject uh, is moving all around uh, here your path. Or you, what you can do too is just since uh, you're following the, the very same path every single way, uh, then move a couple of frames, uh, move, sorry, move here, maybe I'm gonna switch the scale, move your track, uh, be sure that you you, you're adding the older keyframe and then uh, move all around, be sure with a couple of frames uh, to, to be sure, to be sure that you're always following your subject and that uh, the, the mask is all around uh, during all the, the duration of the clip, sorry. 
So basically you have two choices. If you don't know how to use the tracking, then to, to use your object and to, to follow any moving subject here in Final Cut, drop a comment down below and I will make a dedicated tutorial here. But there are many of them uh, on YouTube. So my masking is done uh, with the color correction. Uh, as you can see, it's making a full loop all around uh, my clip. Uh, I made a compound clip of it and then what I did is just uh, I've gone back to my, my first clip and then drag it, uh, drag the, the compound clip uh, above uh, the loop. Uh, here is a, a clip with it and without it. Uh, so the next things to do now is just to have the right timing uh, about uh, where to put uh, the mask. Uh, maybe I'm gonna just um, adjust later uh, the position just to be matching here. As you can see, there is an issue down here uh, with my mask. So what you can either do is just uh, move it here and adjust what you need. So here is uh, a clipped adjust or go back to your mask and then uh, in the, the position uh, change it back to, to the right position here and um, that's the key with the compound clip since you every modification you're making in uh, will be uh, uh, will be immediately dis uh, available uh, in the clip you're, you're using it. So anyway, uh, it's just a matter of just adjusting later. Um, as you see, I already have two guys uh, following each other. Maybe they're a bit uh, way too close together. So what I will do is just move it from a couple of frames since I don't want it to be so close around here. And then once you have uh, one, two, three, three seconds of clip, uh, being okay, uh, press option once again, uh, duplicate and add the same uh, gap uh, between the three. So here one is popping, another two is popping and everything will be uh, on the same uh, pace and, and at the same time down here every time. And then uh, the final um, here, the final move, so you, you just to be sure to have your full clip complete is just to duplicate over and over uh, until you have uh, the, the full loop down here. So one, two, three, well, let's do it once again. Uh, if you want to save time once you have uh, many clips uh, duplicated, select them all, drag uh, the, the first one uh, just to be sure that uh, it's matching the same pace and then what you have here. So here is my first one. Uh, maybe here Final Cut is having a hard time uh, processing, but uh, you see that uh, every three seconds, uh, maybe I need just to adjust here, every three seconds a new guy is popping and uh, the final one here is going to be out and a new one uh, will, be, will be okay. So what you can do here is press shift B uh, to trim all the clip down around. So I will do it right here. And then you can remove all uh, the clips you don't want anymore. Since you have all the the pace and all the, the data that you need, and then select them all, delete, and you have everything that you need here to, to make your full loop. So then what you can do is either uh, add, um, make it another cop and clip and just to, to adjust the sound that you want or just uh, here what I did is my cop and clip. Uh, I have added uh, a sound effect every time a new one is popping uh, and you're almost done with the, the final result. Uh, here is so the first idea 
uh, of what you can do with the guy popping every three seconds. Uh, what you can do too is just uh, here I'm gonna remove all these compound clips. Then once uh, once uh, what I you can want is just uh, another way of doing thing is uh, once your your buddy here uh, is popping on after one lap what you can do is just then duplicate the clip once again I don't want uh, the first guy uh, here uh, to appear uh, immediately or here three seconds after the first one so once you have a loop what you can do so my idea here is to make the guy here getting out it's gonna pop and then uh, just add another one uh, falling in right immediately so we need to adjust here um, the mask uh, so as to be sure that uh, it's not overlapping uh, the the first one but uh, basically you get the idea of uh, a snake uh, of guys uh, following each other and then once you have the first one done uh, all you need to do is then once again duplicate and add your, add your sound effect I hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, if you do like my content, please subscribe here on my YouTube channel, turn on the bell, and follow me on Instagram to see all the content you can make with John. Stay tuned.